All right, this is gonna be a quick video showing you how to fix your Honeywell gas control valve, gas regulator, whatever you wanna call it, okay? There's a bunch of different models of these things. This is the particular one right here. WV8840B1110. There's a few different ones, and some of them are interchangeable. So you might have this one or a different one. Um, I've seen them with different color lights and different codes, and it's all the same stuff, and they're made by Honeywell. And this particular one right here, um, I've changed uh, four or five times in six years. Well, there's a six-year warranty on this tank, and somebody put it in the house about a year before I moved in, so I've been here five years, and now my warranty's up. But I've called before, and they've sent me one four times, and I've changed it out four times. Um, about every six months to a year or so, it throws a number four high-temperature shutdown. Apparently, if it senses it's a high temperature once, it makes this no more good. And there's videos on YouTube showing you how to reset this. You can take this cover off and to do so, you've got to undo a screw right here and then push these tabs in. And then they tell you to go ahead and pull this little ribbon off of this board here. And then you can go ahead and hook you some alligator clips here for your neutral or ground or the negative side of a nine volt battery and you hook the other alligator clip to the positive side of a nine volt battery and tap it back and forth to these and it's supposed to reset it um you can try that uh, but like i said this is out of warranty now so they won't send me another one for free to replace it i'd have to pay 200 dollars or 250 to them or buy one from amazon for 109 bucks for this particular model but uh I found a, a easier way to fix it than, than all this battery talk and hitting the hoop to hoop. You don't need alligator clips. You don't need a, a nine volt battery. You, you don't need to take this cover off even. The only thing you need to, to fix this here is one of these. This is called the duck hammer. Cost you about 28 to 50 bucks because it's a specialty hammer, but it's got this square front end, you see? And all you gotta do to fix this is really, is you gotta back up a little bit. You do that, and then you go down to Home Depot or Lowe's, hopefully Home Depot, because Lowe's is not too good around here, and you uh, buy you a whole new water heater and get you a new warranty and then when the part breaks then you'll keep getting them and changing them out as far as sitting there playing with a battery trying to reset this thing well all i got to say is honeywell is trash these parts are trash maybe an old water heater with the you know a little crank gas valve i don't know why they changed them maybe because it's unsafe but at least you didn't have to go change the part or restart it every other day well hope this video helps you guys Y'all take it easy.